everybody, I'm John Ferguson and welcome back to another bomb ass episode of something new in the Teak Life Basement Bar. See it hiding right there. It's not really, look, it's hiding. It's even wearing a hat. Speaking of hats, have you checked out Tequila and Spirits magazine yet? I don't understand. It's a free digital magazine subscription. Go to their website. Also, check out our other digital media partner, hashtag find the bird. Hashtag. It's like Zorro. Yes, people, you see it in frame, so I'm not hiding it. I'm just putting it here for the world to see. We're actually filming this episode the week of National Tequila Day. So, of course, we're gonna try some tequila. Tromba Tequila. I have been hearing about this for a long time. We just happen to have their reposado, so I'm parched. Anybody parched? Roll it. you're new to the Teak Life platform, before we taste, we talk about it. Tequila Tromba. I have seen this, I've been wanting this here in the Teak Life basement bar, and boom, finally we got it. But, what does Tromba mean? La Tromba is actually slang for a sudden intense rainstorm. And here's what's interesting. On the bottle, it has a little rain cloud and it's rainy. You see that people? I know you do. Okay, it, it is kind of tiny, but it says trademark and it's got a cloud and the rain. Take life by storm. That is kind of their slogan and that's their motto, but it also means something else. That means something big is happening. That's what La Tromba means. I like that. Take life by storm, and that means something big is happening. So that's exactly what happened for co-founder and master distiller Marco Sedano. He is a master distiller with 40 years of experience in the agave industry. And he is one that actually pioneered a 100% premium agave tequila. What brand am I talking about, people? Bam! I am talking about Don Julio Tequila, and yes, he was a master distiller for Don Julio. Um, I think another one or two brands as well, but he always had a passion and wanted to do something of his own. He wanted to stand on his own two feet and create a tequila that he could be proud about and take life by storm. The story goes that he was approached by a couple of people, right time, right place, whatever it is, and they went into business together. But he was not just going to be a face of the brand, he's also a co-owner, co-founder. And he's a master distiller alongside his son, who's an apprentice, Rodrigo. Marco and Rodrigo, father and son, they are the master distillers, and what they do is they combine old practices and new ways and new methods of distilling tequila. Let's talk the particulars. This is Nam 1547. It's 80 proof and it's a Los Altos. It's a Highland tequila. So we talk about this all the time, but if you're new, that means the Highlands are typically a little bit more sweeter. They have some fruit qualities and that's all because of the soil and the climate, the atmosphere, everything like that, that the agave is grown in. Of course, it's 100% Blue Weber agave and they harvest those agaves after seven years of growing. Seven years in that soil, the climate, that's where you're gonna get everything, all the elements up in that juice that juice. This Tromba Reposado is aged for six to eight months in American white oak barrels. Let's talk agave a little bit more. It is cooked between 25 and 30 hours in hornos. That's little ovens. And then what happens is it rests for another 12 hours. That is 37 hours in the horno, which means little oven. Finally, what I'm holding in my hand right now, it takes two weeks to produce a batch of tequila tromba. Two weeks. Well, wait a minute, no, that's not true. See, I'm here to debunk that, that's not true. It takes seven years to grow the agave. Okay, well, yeah, to produce a batch. You know what, I've talked too much. Let's just move the camera over here so I can finally get to tasting. 
two weeks. Poop! Woo! Man, it was like the poop deck overflowing. I don't even know what that meant, but I'm excited to taste some tequila. And when I talked about the two, wow. You guys smell that? Let me, let me wave it your way. Do you smell that? Wow, doesn't that smell good? It's agave. But what I was really trying to say with the two weeks is a lot of people just don't really understand everything that goes in to creating this right here. Seven years to grow an agave plant. It's got to go through all the harsh weather, that sun beating down on it, just so we can drink this decadent spirit. It's much more than two weeks. There's a lot of love, care, heart, and soul in that bottle. We're going to drink it. Before we talk about the bottle, the aromas and everything like that, I am going to do, ooh, I'm going to do a significant pour. I'm using these little cups that I actually found. I don't know, they're probably like my great great grandma's or something and they're just really cool. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna break them out in, in like homage to the great grandma because she's probably somewhere right now enjoying a cup of tequila. I, I don't know bottle look at that so i do like bottles that are very unique and very different so you know with tequila they're kind of squat they're short they're oblong they're hard to hold i do really like this design you know not that i don't like those other ones but in a fast-paced environment or shelf space i mean at a premium you like something that really fits is really sleek and if you notice there are a couple brands out there in the tequila world that are changing their bottles to kind of match that so they're not so squat they're not hard to hold they're not hard to pour like that's the other thing there's been times where you're trying to pour and it slips out of your hand and breaks your glass that's sacrilegious. That is a definite no-no to break a glass with tequila in it. You just strain it and make sure all the glass is out. I ain't ruining no tequila. People, I'm telling you, this aroma is ridiculous right now. I'm really excited, but we gotta talk about the bottle and there's a lot going on. Story on the side, but really I wanna focus on that artwork. And if you look at that artwork, it's art from Marina Polaris. And it this original design was carved in linoleum. Now, if you don't know what linoleum is, it's a floor covering. It's one sheet, it's not like tiles. It's kinda like tiles, but it's just one sheet like carpet. Took Marina a hundred hours to scribe this, to actually carve this in linoleum. And from what I think I read, it's, it's called La Tromba or Tromba or something like that, Tromba Design. So. They used it for their bottle, but I like their bottle. It's got Marco's signature there. It's got a little bit of the, the actually where the longitude and latitude is, 100% blue, blue Weber, Los Altos. So there's a lot of unique, cool things even up here on the topper. So, man, this, this aroma is fucking crazy. Bottle is cool, but color, bam, look at that. It's a nice, really iridescent gold it's a radiant yellow it's like a sonic the hedgehog i can't even say it god damn it's like a nice golden wheat like wow there's a lot of cool things going on now the brilliance of this you know light yellowish hue is because they don't rechar the barrels that they use to age this in so that's what gives it a very light gold uh medium complexion but I think the color works and the tears are just slowly cascading down. It's beautiful. It's like when, you know, the show is over and the curtains are coming down at the same time. That's what it is. And the curtains are over for this one because I'm going to nose it and then inhale it, meaning drink it. It has, it's really filled up here. There is like a honey sweetness that caramelized agave. It's almost like a, a sweet cooked pineapple that's just been aromaticing this room and I just made that shit up but I'm just saying it has definitely filled I mean very unique I really like it really really like it the cool thing about it and you know I'm not using a Glen Cairn but it is you know kind of bowed at the bottom so it does rise up it's not gonna funnel it just like a Glen Cairn but it does the job but I'm not catching any alcohol vapors it's not 
you know, overly saturated with ethanol. It's not going to permeate, you know, the back of my eyeballs and kind of singe them. Nothing like that is going on here. Just some caramelized agave. You got that sweet honey. There's some oak, some dried fruit. Um, there's a nuttiness to it as well. I would say like a toasted almond and, and you're getting some herbal tones. You're getting some florals. So when I go back to the soil that the agave is grown in, that's where you're picking up some of these elements as well. Besides the barrel, of course. It's enough talking. It's time for tasting. Round one. Wow. There's a lot of nice things going on in there. And there's a lot of things that I described from the aromas that are actually in this first sip. In the first sip, it always coats the palate, gets you ready for number two, three, 18, you know, who's counting really, but sweetness. So you're getting some caramelized agave, sweet agave up front. Now I am getting some oak. Now here's what's interesting. Now I'm getting just a little bit of that warmth. You know, it, it, it's like the cascade. It's like the curtains coming down in your chest, but it's not peppery. It's not a spicy, it's not a spiciness that's gonna make you, you know, do that scrunchy tequila face whatsoever. It is very nice and extremely pleasant. I really enjoy Reposados. I mean, I love Añejos and Extra Añejos, but I think Reposados have the versatility that you can put them in a cocktail or you can sip them as well. Speaking of sipping, let's go for number two. Mm. Holy shit, that's good. So you're getting oak, but it's not overpowering. It's not so pronounced that it's up front and it's like you're chewing a two by four. It's nothing like that. It's just very, very subtle. Sweet cooked agave, caramelized agave. So you're really getting that sweetness. On the back end of it, there is some citrus. So almost like an orange peel. And as I said in the aromas, uh, toasted nuts. Wait a minute, toasted. Who's toasted nuts? Get your mind out of the gutter. I'm talking about some toasted like walnuts or some almonds, something like that. Man, you, you people, come on. And then there's just a very, very tiny, slight hint of chocolate, but that sweet pineapple. It's almost like a, a honey goldness. So if you ever had that cereal back in the day, you know, sugar smacks, got that honey, man, that's what's going on. But I have to go into number three to make sure that I'm right. Yeah, that's pretty phenomenal. That, that really is. You get that agave. Now I'm getting a little bit more of that oak. I got the sweetness, a little bit of that citrus. So there's like an orange rind going on kind of action. You got the toasted nuts. We're not going there again, people. This is, this is actually phenomenal. I don't know if they've won any awards, but I've been seeing it for a long time. And I'm really excited to have it here on the Teak Life Basement Bar. I've heard the Añejo was actually fantastic. I have to be the judge of that myself. I can't take anybody else's word for it. I'm a professional intoxicologist, come on. And with that being said, I gotta do number four. Bam. Yeah, that, that's, that's really ridiculous. It's so good. This is a nice sipper. This is one I'm gonna savor. And if you're asking at home, is it Teak Life approved? Boom. What do you think? Come on. But you can get a lot of that sweetness and that's where it's really shining through with the elements. You know, the, the type of rain, the, the climate, all natural elements that lead to this flavor profile, as well as the barrel, the wood, the contracting and the expanding, you know, anywhere between six and eight months. So there's just a lot of cool things going on. And with the process, on their website, they actually have a detailed kind of like itinerary or diagram from beginning to end. So they tell you all about the process, they explain it. So if you're looking to learn a little bit more about the tequila making process, or you just wanna know about their process, check out their website. It's very educational. So my copita is down to the down down and that wraps up another episode of something new in the Teak Life Basement Bar where we tried Teak Life approved 
Tromba Reposado Tequila. Excellent tequila that I think you should definitely add to your home bar. Look, it's going right here. You're gonna see it in another episode, people. If you wanna see what we're gonna be trying on future episodes, be sure to follow us on social media, Teak Life on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. We always talk about what's coming up on future episodes. Life's too short to drink bad liquor. That's why I don't. Choose wisely. Oh man, it's not gonna be at this level when you see it again. Cheers. Oh, my God.